Welcome to Craft School. This is the first of our handcrafted holiday series and we're going to start with a paper poinsettia. I've made poinsettias out of different kinds of paper but this one is my favorite and this is the floristic crepe paper. The reason why I like the floristic crepe paper is it is thicker and it has a deep vein which makes the petals and the leaves of this flower beautiful. You can see the texture and it really adds to the quality of the flower. The main material that you'll need for this project is floristic crepe paper and we have a special bundle just for you for Christmas. You can see we have three greens, three reds, a cream, a white, and a gold and a silver. And you can actually use every single color out of this pack to make different poinsettia colors. You'll also need wire, floral tape, and the pattern. For tools you'll need a hot temperature glue gun with low temperature glue, a pair of scissors, and wire cutters. You can find the pattern underneath this video. There's a link and you'll go ahead and start by cutting out a pattern and you'll notice that there's two patterns on each sheet. So as I was saying earlier, you can make these poinsettias out of white, out of any of the red colors and use the greens for your leaves and then the gold and the silver could be your centers. And I think today I'm going to use two colors of red to make my poinsettia, the two darker reds. One of the things that you'll want to notice with the crepe paper is the grain and that's the way that it's folded and crinkled and you'll want to match your pattern where it says grain to go right along the grain of the paper. This is really important to get the effect that we're looking for. So as far as your patterns go, the largest one that says leaves is actually for the green and then these two are for the center petals and the smallest I'll do with the lighter color and the larger the darker color and it says six each. So I'll place the pattern on my paper and you can see the grain line goes with the grain and cut at the width of the petal itself and I'll cut all the way down the paper. Now a trick that I've learned is to cut the center which is about 45 degree angle and then just flip your paper around, put the angles together and then you can cut two at a time. That really cuts back on the time of making these flowers and you can make more. If you have nice scissors this is really easy to cut. I usually wouldn't do more than two layers at a time. It gets too thick and also your paper will slide around. So there's two and I'll cut four more. There's six of the dark ones. Now I'll do the same thing for the smaller ones with the lighter paper. The last set is for my leaves and I think I'm going to choose this mid-tone green. And it also needs six of these petals. The last two pieces are for the center of the flower and you could really mix this up and do whatever you want to. I think for this one I'm going to use green for my main color and put a little bit of gold. So that is the larger piece will be green and then the smaller piece will be gold. I'll take the edge of my scissors and place it about in the center of the green and just gently press and that's going to help me be able to fold this piece in half. It's harder to fold across the grain. So this just gives a little assistance. And then I'll cut on the folded edge about an eighth of an inch little fringes. And you want to make sure not to cut through the edge. And I'll do the same thing with the gold. Now I'm going to take my wire and make a loop at the end of it with my tool. This is so I have a little bit more for the glue to grab onto so that the crepe paper will stick. Put some glue on that and just start with my green. I want to mix them together so I'll put the gold in there as well. And then just adding some glue as I go. on both layers. Just wrap that around my wire. And I'll let that cool for just a few seconds and you can kind of press this open with your fingers to give it a little bit more of a fullness and this will be the center of your poinsettia. I'll start by assembling my smallest petal and I'll take two of my pieces and open them up. Put a very, very fine line of glue right along the edge and you need to work quickly so your glue doesn't cool. And then place 
the second piece on top. Now, since these flowers are, they have a flatter petal, they don't have a lot of curl to them, we're actually not going to stretch the crepe paper so much. The crepe is actually to give more of a texture and the line of the actual petal itself. So this is pretty much done. I'll do that to all three. You'll notice that when you put your tips together, they overlap and it's not quite as pretty. So I'll take my scissors and just easily trim that to make sure that my point is in the center. For the larger set of petals, I have a little bit of a different technique in that I want to put a wire between the two petals to give it the structure that I want. So same idea, but we'll take the floral wire and I'm using a 20 gauge. So this is a little bit lighter than my normal 18 gauge wire that I use. Place the glue right on the edge and before putting the two petals together, I'll lay my wire right on top of that and then quickly before it cools, cover the edge of the wire with the second petal. Now the beauty of this is I can give it a little bit of a curl and this will add structure and hold the other petals in place. I'll trim my wire, I don't need this much, and use the other half of it for my second. Okay, I wasn't fast enough on that one, so I will add a little bit more glue right on top of the wire before I place my second half of the petal on. You wanna keep it from being too bulky, so be careful not to put on too much glue. So the leaves, I'll do just the same as I did the small petals and glue them together without a wire. Starting with my smallest petals, I'll add glue just to the tip of the end and then place that right underneath my centerpiece. And luckily there's a little edge right there. You can just place them right on, it makes it easy. The thing about poinsettias is, is we're only placing six petals and then three leaves and you can actually do more if you want to. You could, you know, some poinsettias have multiple petals and multiple leaves. The second set has wire, so I'm gonna bend the edge of the wire so I can tuck it right underneath the first set of petals and we'll tape the wires together onto the stem. And you'll wanna look on both sides as you're gluing them to make sure they're lined up the way you want them. And notice that I'm bending my petal on these just to give it a little bit more shape. This is where we get the shape on this flower is by bending the wire versus pulling the crepe. And the third set will be the leaves. And I'm rotating those a little bit off center so that you can see them behind both the dark and the lighter. So they're not directly behind the lighter. Once your poinsettia has cooled, cut the wire down a little bit, unless you want to have a long one, and cover your stem with your stem tape. And this will give it a really nice finished look. I can see tucking this poinsettia on top of a beautifully wrapped gift, making a wreath out of it, or even a whole plant. Make sure that you watch our website because we're going to use the poinsettias over and over again this holiday season. Since this is a crepe paper project, remember that if you make them and post them on your social to hashtag crepe paper revival so we can also see your projects. We'll see you soon for our next craft school project.